Yo, different kind of video today. Today we're going to be covering some real world drama, I guess you could call it that. I just think this is a really stupid, goofy situation here. So, if you don't know who Stephen A. Smith is, he is probably the biggest sports analyst. I've been following the NBA for the past 10, 11 years, so I'm a, I'm a fan of this guy, alright? I, I like him. He did something pretty weird the other day, and... I don't know. You guys can judge it for yourselves, but basically Rihanna is performing at the halftime show this year for the Super Bowl, and Beyonce did that last year, and basically Stephen A. Smith was pretty much shitting on Rihanna to make Beyonce look better in this talk show. I mean, it's pretty weird. And obviously, he kind of got dragged through the mud, borderline canceled on Twitter by Rihanna's fan base, whatever they're called. And yeah, I'll just let you guys watch this clip real quick of him talking shit. Are you excited for this halftime show? I don't want to say I'm not excited. She's fantastic. That's, yes. not, where I'm, that's not where I'm going with this. Okay, where are you going? Ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, she's a lot of things. She's spectacular, actually. Yes. I sense There's the one thing she's not. Uh-huh. She ain't Beyonce. I know she's not Beyonce, but you know, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. So, from that clip alone, I think you could see why Rihanna's fans aren't too fond of Steven right now. Steven set out a pretty problematic set of words there, if I do say so myself, but he ended up backing up on what he said and apologizing on Twitter, of course of all the places, in multiple tweets. And actually, he ended up <laughs> tweeting this and deleting it. And uh, let me just read this out for you. Apologies to Rihanna for my words. Gotta be more careful. Her fan base might just be worse than the beehive. So now he's got to shit on Beyonce's fan base. I don't, I don't understand where he's getting with this. I don't, I don't know what he's planning. Now Stephen A is in deep shit with Beyonce and Rihanna's fan base, so I'm not too sure what he thought that tweet was gonna do, <laughs> other than just piss more people off. And of course, he ended up deleting this tweet and replacing it with this one, which is basically the safe thing to do, the safe caption. And like any sane man, he ended up apologizing for his apology tweet. I'll throw those tweets up right now. Horrific mistake. Something that was supposed to be a fun moment on the Sherry Shepard show has gotten out of hand. An overzealous member on my management team, which has access to my account, posted something I would never say about Rihanna, her fans, or any other artist. The post has been removed. My social media management team will never make a mistake like this ever again. My apologies again to Rihanna, and just to be clear, I'm a huge fan. Sherry and I were just having fun, that's all. So basically, he pulled the signature, my Twitter got hacked, I wouldn't say that, card. I'm honestly disappointed he didn't pull an offset and start tweeting balls in my face and shit like that. If he would have done that, I mean, I would have backed off him. I would have believed him. I would have believed every word he said. I mean, he would never say something like that. That's ridiculous. Now, if you were to ask me who's in the wrong here, Stephen A or Rihanna or Beyonce's fan base. I can't really blame either of them because Stephen A just has a very argumentative personality. I mean, he, that's what he does for a living. He argues about shit. So it's only natural for him to do something like this. I do think Rihanna's fans overreact a little bit. I don't know. I know how stands are and shit. They will literally protect whoever they're standing with their life. They will the put everything on the line for them. So, and everybody kind of knows that, or at least in this space, pe everybody knows about that. I, and I'm assuming Steven does too. I mean, he tweets on Twitter 60 times a day, so I'm sure he's seen some type of stand before. So I just don't think it's the place for that. I think sports debating is one thing, but music is another. You know what I'm saying? But that about concludes this video. I just wanted to talk about something different. I wanted to make a different kind of video, you know, talk about some real life shit, maybe. I, I, it opens up some doors. Maybe this will stick. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I'm in an experimental phase, you know, but yeah.